Yo guys, what is up? It's Teach here. I know that we are super excited. Crystal Isles comes out tomorrow. I'm getting super pumped about it. Here is a quick little update. Some last minute things. Uh, Ark has been announcing. I am back at their old page just to show you some things you may have missed. But I also have a little bit of stuff from their personal Discord, stuff like that, just to tell you what is going on. I'm getting super pumped. I love this new content um but it's going to be a lot of fun first and foremost i'm sure you've noticed this right here but you've got your tropio i am i'm pumped i am pumped for that but uh it is going to be released tomorrow on the 4th as far as i'm aware it might be later in the day sometimes they've got to push it back by a few hours that's sometimes what happens um but uh, it, let me give you a couple of quick facts that we know right now. The map is officially 100% done. Um, if you go ahead and go over to the, if you literally just type in, if you want to know how to do this, Arc Crystal Isles, and then type in Workshop, you can literally go over to their ISO Crystal Workshop, or workshop and look down this thing right here. Um, and you'll notice uh, that right here on their website, it says they were only 75% done. So they took it down at 75% done, but they went ahead and finished the map. I'll do some more map tours, mini stuff like that, just to show you some cool things about the map. But they are 100% done finally. And here's a fun fact for you. The Crystal Wyvern still is going to be an arc. They said one specific thing. They have been completely reworked. Don't know what that means. I think that means they're probably not going to be breedable. But I can tell you that the Crystal Isle will exist. It's just been totally reworked. Um, so that even though they're going to be super pretty dragons, like you see these guys right here, unfortunately, there's going to be something different about them. So how you tame them normally is you feed them some crystals and it's a passive tame. My thought process is it's probably going to be made so these things cannot breed because you can actually breed them. Here's a fun fact for you, and I'll kind of release a video about that later on today. But um, that's, you know, that's just something we know for sure. Rock Drakes. This is one more thing to add into your little list here. Rock Drakes are not going to be on the map. Um, uh, Ark has said that they will be removing Rock Drakes, so there will not be any Rock Drakes in the Aberrant Zone, which kind of sucks because, like, I mean, look at this. Look how beautiful this zone is right here. So you'll have to actually have a mod if you want to play with the full Crystal Isles true feeling to it. Um, I can show you how to find those eggs with or without that there, though. Um, so that's that. There will be no rock drakes. Crystal Ivern's, wyverns are getting reworked in completely, basically. Almost every custom resource has been removed. So if you look down this thing, you're going to notice quite a few different things, all the support teams. Um, but uh, just go to like discussions and stuff, and you'll notice all kinds of cool things, the spawn codes. Um, but the resources themselves, you can notice here's like the special resources, but... Um, there's a whole bunch of extra stuff that they have taken out, like some of those crystals and things like that. I get the feeling that crystal wyverns are going to be in the game. Um, but I, I think, my personal opinion, they're not going to be breedable anymore. And you might have to, like, knock them out and taming them instead of, like, passive taming them, which is what you're supposed to do in order to tame them. So that's interesting. That's something that you can take for what you will. Um, but and then here's another cool fact for you. So the cave system, you look down here, he was in progress on working some of these things right here, um, including a world boss and boss arena um, and then caves and all that kind of stuff. All of that, since they released that this was going to be completed, has been officially redone and completed. So every single cave that are open like right now that like before he took his map down if you wanted to go check some of them out every single one of those caves is now reworked and functioning now what that means to me is they have added artifacts and they have added a world boss or multiple world bosses in order to you know complete this game so that's just something that's kind of interesting so they're going to add the tropognathus to this i get a feeling this is going to be like looking at the pictures, you can literally see this right here. Um, he's going to be found in some form, way, shape, whatever you want to call it, in the floating island region, which is pretty cool. You see that they released the pictures of the floating islands, so they're going to keep the floating islands. I'm getting pretty pumped about that because, I mean, you can do some really cool base ideas up there. Um, but, you know, that's that. Just to talk a little bit about this, tro tro whatever you want to call it, Tropiognathus, um, it's going to be cool. It's going to be have a mounted flak cannon. For those of you that don't know what flak is, that 
that little ball and that one right there, those are explosive rounds. So when they move, if they hit something, those explosive rounds are going to explode and hopefully take things out of the sky. So it's not like a machine gun. It's basically like a cannon, but with exploding rounds at a certain distance. You can see that right here. And it's got a jet pack. Uh, so long as you have the whatever you want to call it. But um, you can see that this is really interesting. Their bite is really strong. Um, and it grinds things down. So it might be like a grinder. Um, so I don't really know what it's like. Uh, but we'll see. I think they're going to increase the speed of pretty much everything that's uh, jet powered because I, I don't know if it's technically considered tech tier. But their saddle itself is going to have a jet booster on it, which is going to be absolutely bonkers. Um, I'm sure a lot of people already knew about that. But you can see these guys like you've got it's a one man saddle. So you're on the saddle and you're holding this this flak cannon, if you want to call it that. Um, so that's going to be really cool to add on to this server. Um, that's pretty pretty awesome stuff. It's awesome to have that in the actual game itself. You can see they're still planning on the 4th. There's some cool sales going on. If you haven't seen my map tour of it, you can kind of see a little bit about the pre-release Crystal Isles version. Um, pretty, pretty unique stuff. And then there was one glitch that they did finally fix um, when it comes to Crystal Isles itself, and that is the monsoon rains or the infinite rains or the never ending rain, whatever you wanted to call it. Um, ISO basically had a glitch or whatever you want to say. It never stopped raining on the map. No matter where you were, it always was raining for you. Um, and that was just a glitch. I know he was working on that for quite a while, um, but it basically just permanently rained and it never stopped. It was so frustrating. Um, but you can see uh, he has got some really cool stuff or she um, I don't know if it's a he or a she so I apologize I don't know the person in real life so I'm not going to assume this person is what I'm going to start saying um, I know I've been corrected on that kind of stuff before but I genuinely don't know so I'm not going to pretend that I do uh, but you can see there's ab resources I've explored around the map a little bit there's a really 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 cool electric ice zone and it's got like liquid dinosaurs um, basically all that means is they're super BA. They can take out, I mean, I went, when I looked over at them, they were higher level than anything nearby. Um, and that was just crazy. I did manage to find the B cave, which is one of the most unusual things I've ever seen. Basically there's like a thousand bees inside this thing. Honey's dripping from the ceiling, all kinds of just absolutely crazy looking stuff. Uh, the water, I will admit, when I've been around the map on the water, uh, it's been a little bit funky. That's simply due to the fact that this stuff right here, like the water is like a greenish appearance. So like when you look straight down, the water is super clear. A lot of arc maps, the water is not clear at all. But in this one specifically, it's really clear and easy to see through and greenish tint on the top. I think they'll probably change that to more of a classic arc water than, than leaving it like super see-through. But that's my thought process. Um, it does have pretty much every unique biome you can think of. There is, this is a real wyvern. This is the actual wyvern scar is in this region right here. It's like a giant pillar. And the wyverns are all inside of that with their wyvern nests. And it's kind of like a giant dome with a circular appearance to it, which is pretty cool. Um, I think it's going to be really neat. There's a the griffin scar. The griffin scar, I'm wondering if they'll end up keeping it. I don't know for sure, but there's griffin nests in it. I doubt that they're going to allow that to happen. But, you know, Ark has done more confusing things in the past. Uh, you can see that they've got this, like, blood forest or this autumn forest, whatever you like to call it, which is where different types. There are three different types of crystal wyverns. If you did not know that, I will kind of go over some of those. Um, and they're pretty cool. And then, obviously, you've got the unique resources of the map. Uh, you've got this, I mean, the map is absolutely ginormous. Um, it makes Ragnarok look tiny. This map is huge. Um, and by that, I mean, it's probably about the same size as Ragnarok, if we're being completely honest um, with how sized it is. Uh, but anything you see here can't be necessarily trusted. I would assume that there is definitely a world boss because a lot of people are going to want to play this and need tech. So that's going to be something interesting. Um, the caves, the underworld, this is all going to be updated. This is not on the map right now. So there's going to be a lot of stuff when this map does come out that we did not know was there. So like, you know, whenever someone releases content or you watch some of the older content, it's going to be literally a different map. So don't forget that aspect of it. It's going to be something that you should definitely keep an eye on. 
but uh, it, it's not something that you can necessarily trust to be accurate from the old to the new map because they're literally two different maps. Um, you can see some really cool screenshots that people have taken, um, and it's just, I don't know, I'm excited. I'm really excited about this map. Make sure in the comments below you say, hey, you know, I want to see this. Try and do this on the server. And I'll try and get some awesome content. In the past, I've always done, you know, just a whole bunch of as much content as I can for you guys as quickly as possible. So I will keep trying to do that for you. But I am pretty stoked. New dino, new map, new style, multiple new dinos, actually, with the Crystal Isles dinos. And uh, we'll see how it goes. So anyways, I hope for this video helps you out and you learn a little bit. And other than that, teach out.